hi everyone welcome welcome to me again here nastasia grace here i know i've been away for a few months the channel has been here the videos have been here the previous videos that i posted um but i just want to say thank you so much to everyone that had stayed here with me through my season of silence here on this channel i want to thank everyone that sent a message of concern a message just checking up on me i'll post some of them here um thank you all so much but i must say i do miss you all i do miss what we have going on here with the channel with this ministry and also everything that we believe in has not changed all right so thank you all so much for sticking around because guess what we're getting right into it as i went through a season of just eye-opening revelation and i'm just so happy that i am here again to share with you and i just thank you all again so much for being on this journey with me and just thank you so much for just putting me in your list or your package or category of favorite truth as people that you can get the truth from spiritual guidance to the most high and we know that at the end of the day we serve the one and true high most high god yeshua hamashiach amen amen so welcome everyone i pray the most high continues to bless you guide you provide and protect you and your loved ones in your going out and coming in and wait for the rest of the video so i want to get into this topic very quickly as the holy spirit really weighed in on my heart with certain things concerning the 15 minute cities and i know a lot of us hear about it and maybe you are like what that that's not gonna happen that's not true that's just something that people are coming up with and conspiracy theories are coming up with but it actually is true it is something that is actually in the planning of wef world economic forum and it is something that they are actually making their way towards you need to google c40 cities these 15 minute cities are the goal right that is what they want so let's talk about these 15 minute cities in these cities what they don't want is no more diesel or petrol cars all of those cars will be absolute. there's no more diesel or petrol car will be allowed in these 15 minute cities all cars will be electric cars and what comes with electric cars being able to say oh nastasia you didn't do that you didn't do this no driving for you today no car right no car boom it's trying to start a car no car will start right you have to walk to wherever you're going today it is a 15 minute city right walk to wherever you're going today so these are the things that they want to actually put in place and they are actively actively going after this actively putting things together actively meeting with heads of government because this is something that they are planning to do so say you're in this 15 minute city and you are planning to now get groceries what you're going to eat they actually will send you a colorized um menu or detail of the week and that is what you have to follow because remember um planet saving the planet in quotations and all of these things that they make up and they talk about each and every day with the ecosystem and this and that so to save the planet and to use less carbon waste to have less carbon waste and all of that you will actually get um a list and a guide of what you will eat for the week anything that you don't follow all of your monies that's why also money will be going digital because all the things that they are putting together will actually work for their benefit for their good right so that is why they want all of these national ident identification systems in place so everyone has a, a number you know when you're tagging cattle right everyone has a number they want every money they want 
all of the money to be digital so they can shut down the account shut down the shut down that at the drop of a hat if you are not complying right and i know a lot of people say oh i what i'll do i just put my money under the bed the cash but if they are not accepting cash that cash that paper money will actually be of no use to you you will have paper money but you won't be able to go in the supermarket and use it you won't be able to use it because everyone will be accepting only digital money so let's start with apple pay the tapping and this and the tapping and that the tapping and, and they're just getting us they're sensitizing us to just tap in the credit card tap in the phone tap in this and just go right so everything will be digital this whole system has been signed off by the wef a lot of countries are coming on board you know listening to what they're saying actually agreeing seeing how they can implement it take taking their time to put certain things in place in their country regardless of first world to third world no one is safe don't think it's just our oh, first world thing just canada america and england and stuff like that everyone will be involved almost all of the countries are signing up on this and i'm telling you it's like a prison it's an open prison it's a 15 minute city open prison you can go past your 15 minutes and traveling will just be a mess right so that is what they want so let's go into let us go into why you see what's happening with the bridges and all of these ships and container ships and barges and all of these things hitting, hitting into these bridges let's talk about that so let's talk about the pelican the pelican island bridge let's talk about the bridge in baltimore let's talk about the bridge in china let's talk about the bridge in Ar um, argentina so it's not just a north northern american thing it's happening in different countries around the world and as soon as i saw these bridges being hit and um by these cargo ships and different things i it immediately came to me let me know in the comments if it came to you immediately that they are actually trying to get rid of escape routes right and even though most of the bridges have been repaired but i feel like they do these things to kind of feel the water see how the people react see if we were you know if we pick up on anything right because trust me when it comes down to it when it's go time it won't be no ships that will be hitting in bridges it will be booyah that bridge is done you can't leave nobody can come in you are stuck where you are they are stuck where they are that is it that is the end of the conversation but as soon as i saw these bridges being hit i'm like yeah hmm I saw right through because when you have the spirit of discernment, you know, the, the, the enemy can just fly anything over your head. And I know that most of us here, we have that spirit of discernment. And I just immediately could have seen through that, seen through their plan. Basically that they're knocking down escape routes. They're keeping, they're trapping people. They want to, that is their goal and that is what they will do. And from I have formed this channel, I said to you all that please, try your best to leave these cities i know it's not just that easy to get up and just leave the cities okay find a way to get some land then that you just have there you know preparing on the side i don't know i don't know but um even living on islands and those things long island and all of these island type of situation i live on an island but it's a self contained island it's a country that is an island i'm talking about islands that are a part of a bigger country and bigger um land mass i wouldn't suggest you live on like a long island or something like that that just really restricts you you know what i mean but that is just that i can only tell you all what i have deducted and through the holy spirit and his leading what i get from certain things so one the 15 minute cities are real so if you did not believe no no that they are real two the whole bridge thing is not a coincidence and just the fact that oh it's usually it's most of cargo ships that are are hitting these bridges it these people they do things in plain sight 
and they have a reason why they do every single thing that they do so i really believe if you think these things are coincidences you are still i won't want i don't want to say lost because at least you're watching this video i don't know if somebody sent it to you but you have not yet reached to a level of consciousness a level of of just your mind passing all of the blockages and the propaganda and all of the doc the, the, the doctrination that they do with us growing up coming right up you need to really see these people for who they are and know that this is happening and i'm telling you this year is election year in america we'll get into some more details about that and what the holy spirit has just laid on my heart about that um it's a serious matter saying it is a serious matter and we need to really get on top of just the knowledge do not lack knowledge that is a major thing that a lot of people are not paying attention to the fact that oh i don't want to see the news it's too depressing yes well guess what you are leaving yourself not knowing not being able to see the deceit and deception just everything that they're doing you're at least you at least should be watching channels like this right so that you can get the truth so yes saints that's what's happening um thank you for watching this video i'm so happy to see you all again and i can't wait to just talk to you all in the comments thank you again for every message every dm every comment asking about my well-being um i'll get more into what i've been up to the past couple months but it's time for growth um saints and i'm i think it's really really important that we just work on that right now uh growth in every aspect of our lives we need growth and that also includes this channel this ministry so because clearly growth off a channel means that more people are seeing the videos more people are becoming aware of truth and oh conspiracy theories but truthers and actually giving themselves a chance to just see a different side of what may be happening things that they may think is normal right so if you can just share this video on your whatsapp in any group that you have and let's go together and let's share the gospel let's share yeshua mashiach our lord and savior thank god that we are alive and well in the name of jesus amen so i see you all very soon i love you the lord loves you jesus is earned and i'll see you in the next video bye